Whenever I get to a place and I see people eating their meals very quietly, you know that it's all about the food. I don't know if it's my South Canada roots, but each time I return to this part of Karnataka, uh, there's always a special sort of feeling that is hard to describe. Delicious, from the heart, the sort of food that warms your soul. I think it's also the honesty. I had enough to feed at least three people, and my bill was about 180 rupees or so. Beautiful sight here because you've got the sea there. And on the other side of the highway, you have the river. Mutton bitter near in Lassar. Bari chicken. Dal chicken, mug mirani, mug masala. Ah, we had an early start to the day and uh, it's just past 8.20 and we are on our way to a place called Kota, 75 kilometers from Mangalore, which is where we are staying. And in Kota, there's a very interesting vegetarian restaurant called Hotel Lata and this has been around again for decades. So I'm told it's a very popular eatery for their vegetarian breakfast fair. I guess the Tiffin sort of fair. So it's a bit of a drive to get to breakfast, about 75 kilometers. But uh, I think the drive should be worth it. And uh, from Kota, we will then find our way towards Murudeshwar. If you go continue in that belt, that's what I think they call uh, North Canada. So we are basically in South Canada now. That's the Dakshina Kannada. And uh, that part on is Uttara Kannada. So I want to at some point uh, explore that area a little more, uh, Murudeshwar, Kumta, going on to Karwar, uh, you know, up until the border of Goa. So because that's that part of Karnataka that I that we haven't explored at all, and also then coming back towards Sirsi and uh, those sort of places. But I thought today, at least since we are going to Kota, uh, Murudeshwar is another I think 75 odd kilometers from there. I thought we'd go there and do some lunch. Um, the idea is to do a seafood lunch there. On the way back, uh, go to Shetty Lunch Home in uh, Kundapur to taste the ghee roast chicken. We've of course done the ghee roast chicken at uh, Shetty Lunch Home in uh, Mangalore, uh, but we haven't done it in Kundapur for the show. I've tasted the Kundapur Shetty Lunch Home years ago, decades ago, and uh, we're going to taste that and then uh, find our way back to the hotel by after dinner so that's the plan uh, also trying to see you know when we're doing this we keep things slightly open so in case there's something else along the way that we can also look at there's another place Bhatkal which is in between Murdeshwar and Kundapur I've heard of the Bhatkal Biryani I've tasted it at a few places but I haven't tasted it in Bhatkal so there's this place there uh, I don't quite remember the name, but um, which is supposed to be famous for the Bhatkal Biryani. And uh, I was researching it and I see uh, mixed reviews. So I don't know what to expect, but sometimes, you know, these places, it's only when you go there, you find out what it's like really. And uh, so, yes, so if, in case we're able to do that, we'll do that too. It's going to be a packed day overall, plenty of filming, plenty of food, and hopefully uh, some interesting uh, episodes that will emerge out of there. if it's my South Canada roots but if each time I return to this part of Karnataka uh, there's always a special sort of feeling that is hard to describe as you watch the landscape unfurl around you the foliage the rivers that you cross on the bridges the laterite compound walls the houses you know with the Bangalore tiles I guess it just appeals to my Mangalorean uh, roots. So it's always nice to return here. Where were we here last visit? Three months before. Three, four months before, no? Yeah. So it's always nice to return. So I think we probably come to this side maybe twice in a year at least.
It's a lovely house there that we just passed by. House with a field attached to it. It'd be nice to live in a setup like that. Wake up in the morning to perhaps the sound of birds chirping. some sand being extracted from the river there and uh, that's what they use of course a lot in the construction industry but I just hope that they regulate it to a certain extent because otherwise we lose all our natural resources we lose the rivers man has many needs but I think it's important to moderate those needs we can be greedy and take everything away from nature strip nature of the many resources that it has for us a bit of philosophy on this drive to Kota for breakfast. It was also the time when we were feeling a little hungry, so we delve into philosophy. Gundmi. We are at a place called Gundmi. You know, extra time is there, you know? Six minutes. Six minutes, extra Oh, so we're almost there. We're almost in Kota. So I am at Hotel Lata here in Kota. We've just finished shooting some of our uh, kitchen segment and now I'm waiting to savor some breakfast. We're going to taste many of the dishes that they have here on offer. Nice place and uh, a very interesting restaurant owner that we met. Whenever I get to a place and I see people eating their meals very quietly, you know that it's all about the food. There's a certain sense of satisfaction in that stillness, in that quietness. So they eat some of our beer rolls now. I love the energy at places like these. There's always a certain vibe, especially when you come to places that have been around for a fairly long time. In this case, 60 years. The place, in fact, if you don't know much about it, you will almost miss it. It's as nondescript as that. But at the end of the day, it's the energy of the place. It's the food that's served in this place that brings people in. So after people are done visiting the temple, they visit Hotel Lata. And I guess food too is as important as one's spiritual needs, one's spiritual hunger. Of course, you need to feed yourself spiritually, but you also need to nourish your body with some food. So this finished the shoot. Great food at prices that are absolutely astonishing. You know, when I travel and explore places, I think to me the most interesting uh, aspect when I visit places like these in addition to the food that they do which is delicious from the heart the sort of food that warms your soul I think it's also the honesty in the approach whether it's the ingredients that they use and the pricing of the dishes I was absolutely astonished when I got the bill in my hand and uh, I tasted about six, seven dishes. I think I had enough to feed at least three people and my bill was about 180 rupees or so. Delicious food, done well. You know, where else will you find this sort of honesty in food? It's only in places like these, tucked away in a corner somewhere. This is definitely an episode that you should look out for on Gourmet on the Road. ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಶ್ರಮ ಪಡ್ತೀರಾ ನೀವು ಇದಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಫುಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಫುಡ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಹಿಡಿಸ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಭಾಳ ಕಷ್ಟ ಇದೆ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಒಂದೇ ಟಪ್ ಆಗುದಿಲ್ಲ ಕೆಲವರಿಗೆ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಇಡಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಕೆಲವರಿಗೆ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಸೀಬೇಕು ಕೆಲವರಿಗೆ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಖಾರ ಬೇಕು ಮಾತ್ರ ನಾನು ಅದೊಂದು ನೋಡಿದೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಡೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಏನೇ ಆದರೂ ಇದೆ ಕೆಲವು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಸ್ಪೈಸ್ ಇದೆ ಕೆಲವರಲ್ಲಿ ಕಮ್ಮಿ 
ದಾಲ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸ್ಪೈಸ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದೆ ದಾಲ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೇವೆ ದಾಲ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೇವೆ ಆಲು ಭಾಜಿ ಕೊಡ್ತೇವೆ ಸೊ ಜನರ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಒಂಚೂರು ಒಂದ್ ಎರಡು ಸಲ ಬಂದ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ತಿಂದು ಬೇಕಂತ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಇದ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ನಾವು ಎನ್ಹೆಚ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಷ್ಟು ಕೆಳಗು ದೂರ ಇದ್ದು ವ್ಯವಹಾರ ಮಾಡೋದು ದೊಡ್ಡಲ್ಲ ದೊಡ್ಡದಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆದ್ರೆ ಈಗ ಜನರು ಹುಡುಕಿ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಹುಡುಕಿ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಲೋಕಲ್ಗಳು ತುಂಬಾ ಹೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಸಹಕಾರ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅಲ್ಲ ಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಅವರೇ ನಮಗೆ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಕಲ್ಗಳು ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಮಾತಾಡಬೇಕು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಅವಾಗಲೇ ಜನ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಟೂರಿಸ್ಟ್ಗು ಲೋಕಲ್ಗು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಒಂದೇ ಟೈಪ್ ಒಂದೇ ಟೈಪ್ ಒಂದು ಕಣ್ಣು ಅದು ಒಂದು ಕಣ್ಣು ಇಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಅದು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಒಂದೇ ರೇಟ್ ಸರ್ ಅವ್ರು ಹೊಸಬ್ರು ಬಂದು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಹತ್ತು ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಹಾಕೋದು ಅದೇನೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಗೆ ದೇವ್ರ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದ ದೊಡ್ಡದು ಅದನ್ನ ಮತ್ತೆ ದುರಾಸೆ ಮಾಡಬಾರ್ದಲ್ಲ ಸಂತೋಷ ಆಯ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಭೇಟಿ ಮಾಡಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಬರ್ತೇವೆ ನಾವು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಅನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಚಾಲೆಂಜಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೈ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಲ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಶಸ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಲಿ so i don't want to charge something extra for somebody just because they are a tourist or something like that he says i want to charge everybody i want to treat everybody the same treat everybody equally many a times you see places that are doing exceptionally well and you like okay fine great they've got a great thing going but there's a lot of work there's a lot of effort that goes into it to sustain it to maintain that way of life and these people have been doing it for the last 60 years fantastic So we finished at Kota and now we are on our way to Murudeshwar which is about 76 kilometers odd from Kota. But now we are at this place called Marwante and it's a beautiful site here because you've got the sea there and on the other side of the highway you have the river. A lot of people stop here and take pictures. We've just stopped here for a bit, perhaps shoot an intro segment here. Well, we are on the road to Murudeshwar. We've just crossed Dunnapur and we are at this place called Marwante. just finished our uh, shoot here at nayak fish land and i'm sipping on some kokum so nice digestive at the end of the meal tasted a few dishes uh i quite like the curry and uh, you should of course i'm not going to give it all away so the one of the things that i have realized as i'm doing this vlog is uh, what do i share with you that i have not shared in the episode already so i don't want it to you know be something that you will see there i don't want you to see it here but uh, an interesting seafood meal but four five dishes that we tasted so i'm told that this is a temple sort of community so everybody comes here to the temple and uh, then they they go to the beach and after all the recreation they come to the eat these restaurants to eat idella hosa da agida idella hosa recent agi ha so murudeshwar andre bala old town old old town idu recent agi kere adu kere kere adu andre ganapati ella namdu sarojana ganapati alli kodutha oh okay it's a nice charming sort of a place it's always nice to discover and find out what places are about we saw the main temple there on the beach and we saw a large statue of uh, lord shiva and then you have this tank here so interesting shoot uh, you know at nayak fishland family restaurant so right now the team is eating and uh, we're going to head back now from here towards uh, kundapur 
I'm trying to see if we should stop at Bhatkal on the way and taste the biryani. While doing a quick stop here in Bhatkal, there is a place called Quality Hotel which is supposed to be the place for the Bhatkali biryanis. I have just eaten lunch about less than half an hour, 45 minutes ago and uh, I am going to taste the biryani. Let's see what it's like. Quality is super. Super? Super. But we will have to taste it again the next time. So it's one of those days, typically they open. They're open through the day, but I think in the current scenario, they close in the afternoon. It's four o'clock now, so they're not serving it. They'll only serve it in the evening. So I guess this is one of those places where I'll have to return sometime in the future. Quality hotel here in Bhatkal. Chana Giri. Chana Quality super. Ask her health there, biryani Chana Giri. Chana Giri. Quality hotel super. So next time, Barbe ko aage thoda. Barbe me. Barle bek sir. Okay sir, Eli Nimduru. Nam Didi Guru. Bhatkal, Bhaskar from Bhatkal next time Bani, Bhatkal. Bhani, sir. We will visit Bhaskar's town Bhatkal some other time in the future. Namaskara, see you. Mutton gita nahi rinla sir. Bari chicken. Dal chicken, mag mirani, mag masala, item hai. Arshte. Sari Bhaskar. Yes sir. See you. Namaskara. Well, when locals endorse the place with a lot of enthusiasm, you know it's good but sadly, they have closed for the day. In the current scenario, with the after the lockdown, etc., I think businesses are not the way they were earlier. So I guess they have to also modify their timings and all of that, just so that they're able to manage things. Since we can't couldn't shoot there at uh, Bhatkal, we are on our way back to Mangaluru. So we'll uh, we have a few other things that we wanted to explore there. We also wanted to stop at. Um, Kundapur Shetty lunch home along the way. We called them, they weren't too responsive. So this is also what happens sometimes on a shoot. So you have a plan and you go as per that, but sometimes things happen along the way and you have to adapt. So this uh, Bhatkal Biryani place, uh, hotel quality, I mean, I have, like I mentioned earlier, I've heard mixed op opinions, etc. But I think after speaking to one of the locals there and also taking in the aroma of the biryani, the residual aroma of the biryani because the biryani was uh, already over and uh, they just uh, closed doors even as we were outside there. I think the aroma of the biryani was quite enticing. And uh, also the fact that they only do a chicken biryani there. They don't do a mutton biryani, they only do chicken, they only do fish. So I thought that was interesting as well. And uh, so I'm certainly going to revisit quality in Bhatka at some point in the future to taste the biryani. But for now, well, we are on our way to Mangaluru. <laughs>